Elvis has entered the building. <laughs> Undefeated Cuban, Elvis La Jolla Gomez, the 24-year-old. He takes on the battle-tested Jorge Cota, the 34-year-old who is fighting for the 36th time as a professional. Hey, he's got 27 knockouts on his ledger. And Kota's proven to be an all-or-nothing fighter, rugged slugger. He's going to present a step up for the rising Gomez. Kota most recently dropped a May 2021 bout against unbeaten Sebastian Fundora, who has his sights set on the undisputed champ, Mr. Jermel Charlo. But Kota is looking. He actually was insulted. He felt insulted that they would present to him a guy who's had just five professional fights. So Kota going to try to take it out on the youngster tonight. And Gomez, yeah, he's on the fast track. He is 5-0, five, oh, five knockouts. He smoked the first five opponents like a freshly lit Cuban cigar. He is the son of a Cuban boxing legend, 1980 Olympic gold medalist, Jose Gomez. And Gomez, the junior one, promises to become Cuba's latest sensation. He hasn't seen his family in more than three years, willing to sacrifice whatever it takes to show that there are different schools to Cuban boxing. This guy's all about, well, knocking you out. We'll look at the uh, numbers for this fight. Kota, Kota, at age 34, is now one and three in his last four bouts. And the question is, is he too shopworn to win tonight? He does have power, as Morrow pointed out. We'll see. With the official introductions, here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from the Gila River Arena here in Glendale, Arizona, premier boxing champions continues the action with our next attraction. Once again, brought to you by Samson Boxing, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. Introducing to you our three judges scoring for ringside, all from the state of Arizona. We have Chris Flores, Dennis O'Connell, and Gonzalo Valenzuela. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge, Wes Melton. All right, fans, here we go with the co-main event of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing in a super welterweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with white trim, hailing from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at 156 and one half pounds. His record, 30 wins, five losses, with 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the battle-ready, hard-hitting veteran contender, introducing Jorge Demonio Colta. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and red trunks, Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Havana, Cuba. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 156 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of five wins, no losses. All five wins coming by way of knockout. Ranked the WBA number six contender. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated, hard-hitting, rising super welterweight. Introducing Joelvis La Jolla Gomez. Once again, our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, we have Wes Melton. Chief Seconds. Okay, fellas, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Both these trunks are good. I'm going to let you work in here. Obey my commands, touch them up, bomb at the bell. Wes Melton has been a professional boxing referee for 15 years. He's working his 376 professional fight. This one at a contract weight of 157 pounds. Gomez working with the, well, acclaimed Ismael Salas for the first time after. Well, Gomez burst onto the scene here in the United States Christmas Day of last year, blasting out the typically durable Clay Collard in the first round. And now he's looking to collar Jorge Cota in this step up. 
So my old partner, Sal Marciano, used to say, don't go to the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, that's my advice on this fight. <laughs> I agree because uh, Gomez, uh, he tries to knock your head off early on. If I was Cota, I would try to stay away the first couple of rounds and, you know, take him into deep water because he's never been past three rounds. Yeah, yeah Gomez cool. says he wants to be the next great fighter from Cuba, and he, he represents the new breed of Cuban fighters who are big punchers with great ring IQs. He's never faced a lefty Gomez has as a pro, but of course faced many as oh, an amateur. Good counter left hand over the top by Gomez on Cota. Cota hanging out on the ropes. Another lefty against a... Well, both lefties there. Yeah, Cota yeah, said he switches. was going to come out as a righty, but oh, he often God. fights as a lefty. And There's Cota no trying to return fire against Gomez. And Cota has a strong right hook. He's landed it against Sebastian Fandora often. But it's incredible to see Yoelvis Gomez in just his sixth fight. Definitely on the fast track and looking to put away Morikota quickly attacking the body. You see Cota complaining. And over there, you know, getting hit behind the head. Gomez started boxing when he was seven, had more than 200 amateur fights. Wasn't really interested in becoming a boxer, wanted to, to play baseball or soccer. But hey, when your father is an Olympic gold medalist in the sport and one of the most feared punchers <laughs> yeah. in Cuba, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree coming up on the final minute of the first. You see the wild left hands by uh, Gomez. It, those leave him open for counters, and Kona oh. is, is going to try and counter him with the right hook. Nice lead right hook to the body by Gomez. Oh. Again, digging to the body with the right. Has Kona. Kona trying to roll with the punches. High guard. He blocked some of those shots. Some of those shots got in. I tell you what, Kota is going to be in great shape. He comes from a... The people that train him, the Montiels from yeah. Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. They're a great boxing family. They had Fernando Cuchulito Montiel. They had other champions. So he's going to be in shape. Cota's going to be in shape, guys. Yeah, if he can, he needs to get this fight, like I said, a few rounds in and then see what happens. Cota, 34, started boxing at 19. Only had 11 amateur fights, but here tonight in his 36th professional Stop fight against uh, well, Joelvis Gomez, who's fighting for just the sixth time, misses wildly with the left right and misses again with the left, but doesn't miss with that left uppercut at the bell and some extracurricular activity. Well, they made it to round two. Right at the end of the round, a wild exchange and and Gomez would land in this a terrific uppercut. That was the best punch of the round for him. And uh, incidentally, that will show uh, up in the keys as we move on. And there's Gomez. What does he need to do in this fight? The jab, he didn't get to establish that as much in round one. Don't lunge in. I mentioned he lunges in with the left. And what does he need to land? The uppercut. And he did that right toward the end of round one. As for Coda. Can't square up. Sometimes he does that when he's switching from lefty to righty. Got to go all in early. He's got to knock this guy out. Uh, whether he's going to get a decision win remains to be seen. Land the right hook. The bell in round two, and we have already seen, yeah, Gomez, big puncher, but like Cota, wide open at times when he punches. And by the way, he said that if Cota feels disrespected about fighting a guy like Gomez, then he should show it in the ring, and uh, I'm sure he's going to try to do that. But right now, he's got to try to find an escape route as he got his head popped back twice with that stiff jab from the Southpaw Gomez. Yeah, Gomez really finding the range with that solid jab. And now Cota coming forward with a combination. You know, Jorge Cota's done a better job, de well, not there, better job defensively than some might have thought he would do early in this fight. Uh, and, and, and if he can keep doing that, you know, he'll keep, the longer he keeps himself in this fight, the more he might land something dramatic. Yeah, he's tasted defeat five times, right hook by Gomez, left uppercut. 
avoided by Coda, but go. all of Coda's losses have come Work against world-class yes. operators. Right. Marco Antonio, Rubio, Erickson, Lubin, Jason Rosario, Jermel Charlo, Stop. and Stop. Sebastian Stop. Fundora in his last fight. That's, that's, that's a, a big group. Yeah, that's a big resume. <laughs> and, you know, but that's he lost four of them by knockout. Yeah, he did, but, the, the, you know, that's still experience. That's why he's in yep. there with a guy like Cota to give him a test. They want to see Cota go more than... I mean, Gomez go more well, than three want, rounds. They want to see if Gomez is indeed ready to take on the best of the yeah. division like Cota has faced. Cota would like history to repeat itself. His biggest win as a pro was against Udell Johnson, a former Cuban amateur star who was a lefty like Gomez. So he's hoping he can do the same thing he did back in 2015. That was a while ago. Gomez trying to do damage on the inside with the left uppercut. Yeah, Gomez needs to go to the... To the body there too with the with the uh, older fighter like Gota wear him down. But Gota needs to do the same thing too. Well then some steam off his power punches. Yeah, but the youngster Gomez putting the pressure on Coda, leaning on him, throwing punches. Coda though returning fire, but needs to get away from the ropes. I tell you what, Gomez closes that distance quick. He doesn't give oh. you any room to to move like he look how he's got him on the corner. He's not letting him go off of there. And that left uppercut. Continues to get closer and closer, Al. Yeah, that's a signature punch, and we saw one in round one and one of them here in this round. Dakota fighting back. Stop, stop, back up, back up. Don't pull down on the head, okay? The more Kota languishes on the ropes, obviously the more of an issue it is for him, even though he's trying to counter off those ropes. Break at the bell. Ten seconds. Gomez unloading on Coda in the corner. Coda rolling and missing. Coda was able to miss a lot of those shots. Give me the protector here. Everything is fine, but the only thing that worries me is that you're a little dehydrated doing things that you don't have to do. Just for, you know, just in front of it. Don't do it. If you're hitting him, just keep in control. Don't stay, don't stay uh, next to the ropes, okay? A little Vaseline here on the top. Exactly. When you count your punch, make sure you throw one and two, and then cover up. Back up, back up, back up. Round number three, Cota telling us that he was going to give Gomez a boxing lesson, get a lot of rounds tonight. He said that's what he came for, to show Gomez what true experience and the true caliber of Coda's quality is worth. And now Coda finds himself along the ropes again as Gomez probes with the jab. Coda goes to the body. Coda is actually an engineer with a degree in agronomy, which helps farmers plant their crops efficiently. Tonight, he would like to plant Gomez right on the canvas. <laughs> nicely done, nicely done. I, you know, if you if and you a very more, valuable uh, profession in this day and age. It is. Oh, good, incredible exchange on the ropes. Have you noticed I'm morphing into you? <laughs> Let's hope not. I think you are. Al. Look how fast Gomez closes that distance. I mean, he did, yeah, I keep standing. Oh, oh, the counter! Right hand back, Coda into the ropes, and he's still standing, but he bounced off the ropes and then, well, thrown down, not knocked down by Gomez. Coda okay. has been down officially five times in his career. Okay. Twice against Jamel Charlo. And he took that fight against Charlo on short notice and was starched in three rounds. There's a minute and a half left in the third here against the undefeated Gomez. You know, Wes Melton might have given a warning at least to, uh, <laughs> to um, uh, Gomez for throwing down oh. Coda. Left hand lands for Gomez. Coda needs to abandon the ropes, Raul. He needs to abandon the ropes or hold on to Gomez. Gomez is a beast. Five, I mean, how, ten. How, how long can he fight this kind of way? I mean, we, I, want, I want to see him going to, into the fourth, fifth, sixth round. Right? I, mean, I want to see if he's still 
is landing those power shots. I mean, he throws every shot with bad intentions. Well, he's never been past this point in the fight, so we'll see. 45 seconds left in the third again. Tags Coda with a left and right. Coda, the veteran, clinching, trying to mute the offense of Gomez. Gomez, right hook upstairs, another right hook. Left uppercut. That left uppercut got through the guard, but Coda doing a good job, the veteran, of rolling with these punches. And he's crowding him, crowding uh, Gomez, not giving him any, any room to punch. There you see Gomez taking a step back to create that, that space to let his power punches go. And again, Gomez attacking the body of Cota, but Cota avoiding that sweeping left hand from the undefeated Cuban as we go to the fourth. the best punch of the night for Kota. And the fans love it. <laughs> well, this was where Kota was thrown down by, uh, that was a, a right hook. Oh, now that could have been, been called knockdown. a knockdown. Yeah. Could have been called a knockdown because the ropes kept him up. It was not. But now then here's where Cota was thrown down. And let's listen in now as we see the end of that round. <laughs> On the microphone. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> hey, maybe maybe no Cody was mad that Melton okay. didn't give a okay, warning to, uh, <laughs> to Gomez for Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> that was. Did you hear that noise, Mount? Oh, 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 and Cody lands a right left combination to the face of Gomez. The best combination he's landed all night. And for the record, we are in a spot in a fight where uh, Gomez has never been as a pro. So, right. as Raul pointed out, we want to see him in these rounds. Right. Un unknown territory. That, that's got to be in his head right now. Like, yeah, it, it's normal. But for this is a why fighter. you take tests like this. Exactly, but a, a fighter with only five fights, he's got to know it. Look, I've never been four rounds. That's got to be in his head. Coda coming forward, three-punch combination, but bounced off the high guard of Gomez. Gomez moving forward, utilizing footwork, launching the left hand that was blocked. Also, we're seeing movement from Coda. There wasn't any in the first three rounds. And he, he actually told us that he thought after three rounds when he could make things happen. We'll see. Coda fighting soft pop, back foot. Yeah, he's never, never been a righty in this fight, and he can fight as a righty, Coda. And Gomez again, putting the pressure on him. Gomez parried that jab from the southpaw, Coda. And then Gomez launches the lead left hand. Coda goes to the body. We're out of there. We're out of there. We're out. We're out of there. Referee wants them to work out of the clinch. Gomez much more economical with his punches, only throwing 17 punches in this, or 16 in this round so far. Final 60 seconds of the fourth. And now Gomez unloads a left-right combination to the head of Cota along the ropes. That's scored. Cota out of range to land his left. Gomez double pumps the jab and avoids the return fire from Coda. There's that little right hook from Coda. He has not oh. given that punch much yet at all in this fight. Good there. right hook, though. Hard right, right hook from by Gomez. Yeah. And there's a left to the body by Gomez. Coda again on the ropes. High peekable guard. And Gomez able to go to the body because of the high guard with the left hook to the liver. Stop at the bell. Stop at the bell. 
still to come. The main event here tonight with the David Benavidez, the 25-year-old, undefeated at 25-0 with 22 knockouts. Coming off a victory in his hometown of Phoenix now in nearby Glendale, hoping to move one step closer to becoming a three-time champion at 168 pounds. And while well, the man who was looking to hand him his first defeat, hey, did not exactly lining up to fight David Benavidez, but David Lemieux, a former 160-pound belt holder, has never shied away from a fight. 3-0 with two knockouts against mid-level opposition at 168 pounds. But both Lemieux and Benavidez have promised a knockout. And early in that man's career, David Lemieux, a lot of middleweights up, didn't want to up, fight him up. when he was on back his up. knockout streak, so he understands that. Well, Joavis Gomez is on a knockout streak to begin his career, 5-0 with five KOs, taking on the most experienced opponent, a step up against Jorge Cota. Cota goes to the body. What do you want to see more out of Gomez moving forward, Raul, in terms of what you picked up I thus see, far in this fight? Well, obviously, you could see Gomez is the more powerful guy. He's stronger. He keeps pushing Coda. I, I, he needs to go to the body. He needs to invest more in body shots because you could see Coda is a, is a veteran. He takes some good shots. He's got a really good chin. So he's got to wear him down and go to the body and then come back up. That's what I need to see from Gomez. Gomez may be trying to bait. Coda has that right hand down low past his waist, and Coda coming forward, and Gomez launches a left, and now sitting down on that left hand behind the guard. And you said sitting down. That's one thing Coda has not done. He has not mm -hmm. sat down on his punches at Let all him go. in this fight. And Let him he's going to need to do that because he's going to have to hurt a Gomez at some point here. I think Gomez is naturally heavy-handed. I think he's trying too hard yes, to get the I, knockout. I, Just I let your punches flow. Set it up. Get him, hit him with a good jab and let everything come out. Coda coming forward again, not sitting down on the punches, but throwing them. Yeah. Shoot shining the body and now on the back foot from the salpa. Jab to the face of Gomez. Gomez, like you say, is loading up now with the left hand, got, not utilizing the jab and not setting up his attack like we saw earlier. And one thing Coda did do in that last sequence was throw a nice right hook at the end of the, the combination. Yeah, this is going to be interesting round by round as you look. The number of punches thrown, you see how Gomez has started to decrease. Now, they pointed out he's never been past the, the third round in a fight. So we'll see if he can up that number at all. Good exchange along the ropes. Or if he needs to, he might land one thing that would change and, and knock him out. But, you know, he's he, he definitely slowed his pace. And listen, I think Gomez needs to throw punches and bunches. Punches and bunches go from the bottom on up and then try to land a big shot. Mix it, it up. And you it appears mix it up. Coda's confidence may be beginning to build a bit as he just avoided that right hook. But Coda now in the center of the ring. Southpaw so stands, Stop flashes the, the jab. Gomez unable to land with his right jab. There lands a left to the body at the end of the fifth. You know what's happening here? That you're demonstrating that you're a great boxer. That's not only a punch. You're showing boxing skills. That's what you are. You're demonstrating class. Now what I still need you to do, Joelvis, is to work with your hands up front. You come with your jab nice and slow in the shoulder that it hurts, and then you come with double. You're throwing too much to the right. Early on in the last round, there was this sequence, a nice combination work by Cody. He goes downstairs and then finishes us off with, with uh, a right hook to the head. Uh, it didn't land perfectly, but it did get in there, and that was the best combination punching actually by either fighter in this fight. And we are at the midway point of this 
contract weight, fight there. 157 Look pounds, here. undefeated 24-year-old Yoelvis La Jolla Gomez, 5-0 with five knockouts, has never been this deep into a fight against a veteran with a deep reservoir of experience, Jorge Cota, 30-5 with 27 knockouts. Let's bring in our unofficial score, Steve Farhood. Mo, I gave Cota the last round. Uh, I, I think Gomez has slowed a little bit, but he clearly won the first four rounds. Uh, I gave Cota the fifth, so I have it 49-46 for Gomez. Actually, I really scored the third round for referee Wes Melton. But there's no way to show that on the record. <laughs> right hook by Cota, but they Ooh. stepped on each other's foot, and that's why Gomez yeah. was on balance. Oh, catapult lead left by Gomez. But you know, Coda is, I agree 100% with Steve. And the interesting thing now is Coda is, and this may even be his downfall, is willing to take some chances now to land something, which is good. And that shows he's in the fight. Who thought we'd get to round six in this fight, huh? Jorge Cota and his fan base. Yeah. But hey, that's what it's Maybe about. The, <laughs> yeah. hey, you want to oh, see a guy like Gomez. Counter go right rounds. by yeah. Gomez. Misses with that left. Gomez needs to go downstairs, guys. I want to see more work to the body by by Gomez. He already hit uh, Cota with his biggest shots. Mm -hmm. And Cota took him. Yeah, Takes facing, a good punch. You're facing a 34-year-old. You'd want to go downstairs. Especially one who's been through the, the battles that yeah, Cota's been through. He's, he's got a lot of wear and tear. Yeah. And, you know, we haven't seen Cotto once as a righty, which is a little surprising, actually, but I guess he feels like he's more powerful as a lefty, so he's hoping he can land something. Under a minute remaining here in the sixth, Cota staying at range. There's that left hand by Gomez, but... Final 45 seconds of the sixth. Cota has been credited with landing just five punches, Gomez four. So the offense... Is definitely dissipating. Let's get this the kind of round somebody could Don't steal with a flurry okay. here in the last 30 seconds. And Gomez just misses with the left. Coda continues to attack the body, short right hand, and continues to go to the body from the clinch. 10 seconds left in the six. Gomez trying to middle. land a one-hitter quitter. There's a left hand to the body. We're headed to seventh round here in Glendale, Arizona. Let me get a little water here. Get those feet out right now. All he has is that left, okay? So just be careful with that left. That's all he has. He only has a left. Okay, be aware. Be aware of that left and we should be good. With your jab, and then when he tries to throw, then come with the jab. He can't hit you with the jab if you throw the jab. Don't get crazy. It's basic. This is basic. Clean, clean yourself and remember, left and right. Cut right here. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. Over there, over there. What is this here? Get up, get, clean this up. Get up here, you. Clean this up. Not so good up. housekeeping in the corner. <laughs> it's it's glue. melting. Yeah, it's okay, 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 that's okay, okay, okay. Okay, right there, right there, there. And the round officially begins. This is round seven, scheduled for 10 at a contract weight of 157 pounds. The Cuban Gomez now landed a sharp jab. And that slowed he, down Cota. Oh, he rocked him with that jab. He hurt him. Yeah, he did. And Cota, the veteran, trying now to get his legs back under him, trying to buy some time, banking up, trying to maybe set a trap for Gomez. Gomez, time with the jab. Again, looking to land that left. Yeah, 
the left hand is too big and too wide for Gomez. But what he has been able to land are the right hooks and the uppercuts. And the jab, obviously. Yeah, the lunge into the jab. That one wasn't bad. Our unofficial scorer, Steve Fart, has mm -hmm. given the last two rounds to Coda. Coda again gets hit with the jab from the southpaw. Gomez doubles up on the jab but misses. Just out of range. But Gomez conditioning being tested. So this far so good. Here in round seven for the first time in his career. But and this is where Coda needs to use his experience. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's been rounds with different fighters. That's it. And he's, he's got exactly. Looking for it with the uppercut. Yeah, he heard me. He heard me. Yeah. Good three, four punch combination. He needs to let more of that go. This is where he needs to take the lead or keep being a punching bag for Gomez. But Coda's also, again, done a decent enough job of avoiding a lot of yeah. these shots as well and returning fire. Well, he had those two rounds in a row. I agree with Steve, he won them. This round has been a very good round for uh, Gomez, despite a couple of punches that's landed by Coda. So, yeah, and Coda has slipped a lot of those punches as well. There's a nice left hand behind the guard. But Coda again going downstairs with the shoe shine. Under a minute left in the seventh. There's a jab through the high guard of Gomez by Coda. There's a cuffing left by Coda behind the ear of Gomez. There's a left cross that lands for Gomez. Just grazing the chin of Coda really well with the punch. Final half minute of the seventh. And Coda goes to the body with a straight left. So as the seconds tick by, the 24-year-old Gomez in his sixth pro fight continues to pick up valuable experience, courtesy of Jorge Cota, as we go to round number eight at Gila River Arena. Well, that was a bounce back round for uh, Gomez. Uh, it appeared, in any case, even though Cota came back later in the round, that was the strong jab that yes. really stunned uh, He ran right Cota. into it, Al. You could see where he ran right into it. And that's really some good combination punching by Gomez. And then we see him uh, set him up right here with a big left hand over the top. But I would, that was, that was a good shot, but I would want to see Gomez put his punches together. He's not gonna stop Cota with one single shot. He's gotta throw three and four punch combinations. Listen to me. You gotta keep going nice and basic. Clean yourself and your jab, your jab, your jab kills, but you gotta use it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The 34-year-old Cota said, hey, I honestly don't see much in Gomez as a fighter. I do not understand why his team picked me as an opponent because he lacks experience and has never fought anyone at my level. He's not ready for the kind of pressure that I'm going to bring. Well, it's been Gomez bringing the pressure, but Cota's had his moments, but not there. Again, that stiff jab from Gomez. All right, here's a brutally honest assessment. The Jorge Cota of two and a half years ago would have been a real handful for wow. Gomez. Lead right hook by Gomez now putting on a bit of a show. And a short right hook lands for Gomez upstairs. Yeah, as I was saying, he he that would be a real test for him. Oh. Now Cota having issues. Light left uppercut, left hook by Gomez, stapling Cota to the ropes. And the stop, veteran Cota stop, stop. trying to just make life miserable for Gomez by clinching Raul. Yeah, well, he's got to find a way to offset that pressure of uh, Gomez. But look at Gomez not put, really putting his punches together here. Yeah, you look at the jab numbers. Now, Gomez would have liked to have landed even more in this fight and thrown even more, believe it or not. But he has picked up the pace with his jabs because that, that's just going to set up his punches, especially against younger, uh, better let fighters. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Get off his head. Don't push on his head. Tell you what, Gomez's conditioning has really uh, impressed me so far. Like he's never been eight rounds, and uh, he's so far he's he looks in control. 
He looks focused. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He started boxing when he's seven, had more than 200 amateur fights. So again, despite a lack of professional experience, he's he's well versed in the school of boxing. Absolutely, that, that, nice that means everything. Yes, that the amateur background goes a long way in the pros, especially a Cuban amateur background. Yes, sir. Yes, Under sir. a minute now left here in the eighth, and Coda coming back with a combination of his own, but. Gomez avoids the majority of those shots and that short right hook upstairs didn't have a lot of mustard on it for Cota. No, and that's the punch that Cota can land. That was a great right hook. Right hook by Gomez. Gomez has had, from a technical standpoint, this has been the best round of the oh, fight for Yeah, Gomez. he's breaking Cota down here in round eight, but Cota continues to fire back. Technique-wise, Gomez is doing better in this round. Overhand left, another sharp jab splits the guard. All Yoelvis Gomez with 30 seconds left in the eighth. Cota backing up. 15 seconds left. Short, stiff right jab by Gomez. Stop at the bell now. Oh, and that right hook again. Coda ate it. Another right hand lands for Gomez. And he smiles. Yeah, he's beginning to feel himself, beginning to enjoy himself. He's a very confident guy. Well, we talked about the fact that technically it was one of the, probably the most proficient round for Gomez. Mm. Strong jab, that punch lands. Then to as a a sample size of the other punches. Here's the right hook, a leadoff right hook. He didn't even need to jab his win. And then the last one. Yeah, that oh. was a beautiful counter right hook by Gomez. And then look at that uppercut, pinpoint uppercut really almost rips off Cota's head. And I think the difference in that round was that, you know what, Gomez is making allowance, he's making room now. He's not crowding himself. If he sees that you're in danger, he's going to stop the fight, okay? Jorge, so you got to show something in this round, okay? Got to show. There's no more. You got to keep going. Strong in this round. Get over there. Coda's corner. Rallying him, wanting him to show something because they feel that, well, the end could be near. It's by the sounds of it if he does it. Yeah, they, I think they were suggesting uh, that the West Mountain or maybe one of the other ringside officials were talking about stopping it if he doesn't do something. Of course, here in this fight, as all fights tonight, only the referee can stop the fight. And a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round as 30 seconds into the ninth round. With our unofficial score, Steve Farhood having the undefeated young Cuban, Yoelvis Gomez. Pulling ahead by four points. And I got to ask you, Raul, do you think that uh, Yoelvis Gomez has gained Cota's respect through what we've seen thus far in this fight? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look, he's made him work nine hard rounds. He's taken his better, his biggest shots. Of course, I hope he has. I mean, then he's never going to forget Cota because this guy has taken him the distance. He's going to learn in the future from going nine, well, ten he's rounds. Maybe not going the distance yet. A minute well, 42 left in the ninth, but he's gone longer than any other opponent has lasted against Gomez. Now, well, the, the, from what I see, he's going to go the distance, guys. <laughs> yeah, it could be. And the big question, one thing that Gomez has done tonight is show he can be here in this round. The question is, can he do that against someone that's providing offense against him? We'll find that out in the future. Lead right hook by Gomez, and then Coda comes back with a right left of his own. Not a lot of sustained two-way action, not a lot of exchanges. A lot of power shots thrown by both Coda and Gomez. Gomez landing 45% of his power punches. Kota 24% of his. 45 seconds left in the night. One of the big things that's changed in the last, and there it is, in the last three or four rounds is the jab of Gomez coming to life. He's used that punch very effectively. And, I, and that to me is a redeeming. That's redeemed him in this fight because he's looked technically more proficient in the last few rounds. 
él, él se la consigue, quédate con él. Quedan 30 segundos. The 34-year-old veteran Jorge Cota and Tenton being the first to go the distance against Yoelvis Gomez, who is about to head to the first tenth round of his blossoming career, walking down Cota, launching the lead right hook, bouncing it off the head of the veteran. Gila River Arena, Glendale, Arizona, still to come, the main event at 168 pounds between two Davids who love to chuck huge punches. Lemieux and Benavidez still to come. All right, wake up. This is the last round. Let's go. Wake up. You got to be nice, nice and awake. Listen to me, nice and calm. The distance, go uh, and cut the distance a little more in this round. That's it. Hey, hey, get over there. Get over there. Catch him Tenth up right and here. Last final round. round. Last round, keep it clean. According to our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood, Coda needs to record the 28th knockout of his career in order to claim victory again that's unofficial while Yoelvis Gomez would love to keep his knockout streak intact but picking up valuable experience here as we begin round two. To put this in perspective Cota turned pro three days before the 12th birthday of Yoelvis Gomez. Oh triple jab left hand and Cota again staggers. Let him go. Let him go. That jab becoming very effective weapon for Gomez, as Al alluded to in the last round. Yeah, Gomez trying to close the show in this last round. I got to give it to him for still trying after nine well, rounds. Where he's, he's been working hard. He's been Don't, talking the talk, yes. well. He says he wants to be the new monster at 154. We know we have Jermel Charlo now crowned undisputed champion. Sebastian Fondora, who defeated Coda and Coda's last fight. There's Tim Zhu. I mean, there are a lot yeah. of heavy hitters at 154 pounds. And somehow, miraculously, the WBA, believe it or not, has Gomez ranked number fifth in their ranking. That's absurd, of course. And, and we can tell tonight it's absurd because he's doing a nice job against his veteran, but he's clearly not the fifth best 154 pounder in the world. <laughs> and he, but he shows tonight that he has skills that can get him to that point eventually. Jab, double jab, left hand by Gomez, who's now just trying to cut off the raincoat, trying to just ride it out, trying to go the distance. Not throwing any punches. A lot of fainting by Coda. Gomez, high guard, walking Coda down, but Coda comes back with a combination upstairs. Body work by Gomez, chopping left hand over the top. Under a minute go. left in the fight. You know, one of the keys was for uh, to kind of take him deep. But you know what? It hasn't worked for him because <laughs> he hasn't been able to land big punches to get it done. Well, Gomez almost out landing Coda two to one in total punches connected. Let him go. Let him go. Coming Let up go. on the Stop. final 30 seconds. Stop. You can't hold him by the head, okay? Come on. Of the Next step in the emerging career of Yoelvis Gomez again, 24 years of age, left his native Cuba three years ago, son of an Olympic gold medalist, and a man with designs on one day being a champion at 154. Stop at the bell. Stop at the bell. He goes the distance against the veteran Jorge Cota, but the knockout streak is over. So, a young fighter, Raul, going 10 full rounds. 
What impressed you the most about Yoelvis Gomez in his performance tonight? His power, and uh, even though he wasn't able to get him out of there in less than three rounds, he kept his composure, he kept focus, his conditioning, and this is like schooling to him. Uh, this is the pros, this is not the amateurs. I know he had a big Cuban amateur resume, but this is gonna help Gomez down the future. And now, obviously, Gomez remains a work in progress. Coda yes. giving him what was needed in his career tonight. Absolutely, and I think what's what what jumps out at me about this performance is after about the fifth or sixth round, I think Gomez became a much more technically proficient fighter because all of a sudden he wasn't he, going crazy for the knockout. He went back to the other school it, of Cuban boxing. Exactly. Yes, he did. He and did. Still landing power punches, back but to doing finding, it the yes. right way. Back to and finding his range. He found his range. Back to finding his range with that jab. And how about we show you an example of that? Uh, there's the jab, working his way in, quadruple jab and pushes Cotto against the ropes. Now that was to stumble more than being hurt. But, uh, you know, different angles shows you that he understood, he got that jab working so much better in the latter part of the fight. And he was able to land also great right hooks and uppercuts uh, and just did a purely better job of, of being a technical fighter. All right, Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about the same 100 to 90. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated, Joe Elvis La Jolla. So Gomez's knockout streak ends at five, but he's now six and zero as a pro, forced to go the ten round distance, the first time against the battle tested Jorge Cota, who is now thirty and six. All right, all right, Moro, thank you very much. Felix De Jesus will translate for us. Congratulations. This was the most rounds you have gone. How would you assess your performance this evening? Esta es la pelea que ha tenido más asalto en esta pelea. ¿Cómo estaba, o, o sea, la pelea de hoy, cómo lo sentiste? Me siento muy bien. Me sentía para pelear con, de guerra, los mexicanos, como decimos, a darle un gran show. Quería robarme la noche, pero mi contrario no quiso... Darle a, a los fanáticos del pueblo esa gran choque de tren. Yeah, no, I, I, I wanted to steal the show tonight, but all Mexicans are warriors. He was a warrior tonight, Jorge Coda, and um, he just took me the, you know, the 12 rounds, or the 10 rounds. Clearly, you wanted to knock him out and keep your streak alive, but what did you learn tonight? ¿Qué aprendiste en la noche de hoy? Tú, claro, querías mantener eh, los knockouts que ha tenido en, lo, en las uh, últimas cinco peleas, pero eh, ¿qué aprendiste esta noche? Aprendí esta noche que cuando una pelea es apartada a 10 rounds, a 12 rounds, primeramente hay que estar preparado. Si el caos sale solo, felicidades, pero si no, yo siempre me he preparado para todas mis peleas al límite. What I found out today is that you have to be prepared for 10, 12 rounds tonight, and um, I was prepared tonight for this fight. And if the knockout comes, then it comes, but it didn't come tonight, it was, but I was prepared for 10 rounds. Your conditioning was terrific. What do you have to do? Where do you have to improve? ¿A dónde que tú tienes que mejorar? Bueno, siempre cada boxeador tenemos que mejorar algo con cada oponente nuevo. Y yo digo que el lunes estoy en el gimnasio de nuevo con mi entrenador, aprender de nuevo lo que me faltó en la pelea. Now, on Monday, I'll start again with my trainer to see what was left that I needed to do for this fight that I didn't do. Congratulations, Muchas gracias. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Antes que todo, thank you, Gar. Thank you, Hyman. Thank you, Showtime. Thank you, Alofan. I love you. <laughs> Finish, Arizona, I love you. Bye, nos vemos pronto, los amo y los quiero. Thank you. All right. Excellent, Morrow. Back to you. All right, Jim. Just like his career, his English remains a work in progress. But Yoelvis Lojoya Gomez, the 24-year-old, yeah, he wants to knock out all of his opponents as opposed to winning on points. But goes a distance, picks up some valuable experience, and he feels a win tonight will get him one step closer to a big fight with a top contender.